In today's video, we're going to use our free utility labels indicator that we built together to understand which sectors are leading the way as we head into April. It's April 5th of 2023 as we record this video. And inside of uh, our utility labels here, you can see which sectors have green labels compared to which sectors have red labels compared to which sectors have either yellow or orange labels. The utility labels indicator is a free download. You can download it at our website, tosindicators.com slash indicators slash market hyphen pulse. It's part of the market pulse tutorial. That's where we built it. You can see it in the background here in the thumbnail and the downloads folder. Once you click this big green button, will give you both the market pulse, which is this line right here, along with the utility labels. Now, just using our labels right off the bat, it should be easy to tell which of the sectors or the markets that we can see are stronger compared to the other markets. For example, we can see out of our index markets here, SPY, QQQ, IWM, and DIA, very clearly QQQ is the stronger one with the green label that we see on our charts. The reason for that green label, this is the S&P 500. Our market pulse line has yet to go green. If I show you the Russell next, the Russell is in fact bearish, where we've had a pullback to the market pulse for a bear side entry. DIA, you can see the market pulse is yet to go green, but if we now come into the queues, you can see a little bit different story here where the queues have a market pulse that's green. And so that green is what is funneling into this label right here, telling us that, hey, not only are our three volume weighted moving averages stacked bullishly, but we also have price above our variable moving average. And that's where this green line comes on. So out of the sectors, we can see QQQ and as a result, XLK, if I show you that next as well, as our sectors that are the strongest so far that we see in the marketplace. Now today, two sectors went green and that was XLP along with XLU. So let's take a look at both of those next. I'll start with XLU. Today, the market pulse went green as we had this big green candle, which finally met all the conditions I just talked about. Inside of XLU, there was one stock which also went green today, which was AEP, almost identical charts there. So if you want to choose a stock instead of the sector, XLU, AEP, two sectors and a stock which went green today. If we now look at XLP, same idea with XLP, but XLP looks much more likely that we would get a pullback to the market pulse line, which is our ideal point of entry. Here, even the candles look like they're starting to face some selling pressure. We're coming right back into the 1618 extension, and that extension is from our Feb to March of 2020 swing high to swing low. So two sectors that went green today, XLP, XLU, and inside of XLU, we also took a look at AEP. Now, finally, the last sector that we can take a look at is XLF, which is the one sector which has a red label on our chart. Now XLF here, we can see the market pulse very clearly red. We're seeing a bear or what looks like a bear flag back up to the market pulse line. And really any entry near that 32.50 mark for a short side setup would make a lot of sense in that you'd be playing the overall bearish trend inside of the weakest sector that we currently have. Hopefully you found today's video useful and a quick uh, way to use the utility labels to understand which sectors are leading the way, which sectors are lagging, and which sectors are the weakest sectors, which we can see with the red labels here. One more time, you can download the utility labels indicator for free from our website. That's tosindicators.com slash indicator slash market pulse. I'll leave a link to this in the description box below. And there, as part of the downloads, you can get both the Market Pulse line, which is this line, along with the utility labels. Make sure if you are on a daily time frame chart that you've given your chart enough data, otherwise you will see some labels as being grayed out, and that's something to be aware of. All right, hope you found this video helpful. Take care, everyone, and good luck trading.